Uh, right, so this is the underside of the base. I've got, uh, I've got the front mount on and the rear mount. The uh, next thing I'm going to do is add a couple of uh, casters. So these are quite inexpensive. They're not swivelly. If you swivel, obviously you've got to allow room for it to swivel in the corner. And um, on the heavier ones, just to make things easy to move around once they're built. Uh, I just popped two of these on the back corner. Um, they come down from the frame uh, about three or four mil, not, not much at all. So they're not visible once the skeleton's down. And basically, yeah, if you lift, lift the front of the base up, when these are at the back, it just allows a, you know, a, a single person to be able to move it without too much grief. So I'm just gonna screw these, these couple on. And then what I'll do is flip, uh, flip it over and show you a couple of tips for the mounting uh, of the bars. Another tip when uh, if you're doing a lot of these, just in case in the future you're not sure what it is, I'm going to write on here Kudu Mail Mounted by Yorkshire Skeleton Museum. Just helps you remember when you did it as well, I guess, when you look back at in the future. So I'm going to flip this over now and then explain a little bit about the bars. I'm going to take those boxes away now. They were temporary supports just while I was drilling, drilling through. So now the base, with a, just a slight lift here, will wheel backwards and forwards quite easily. Right, I'm gonna move the camera now and just explain what's going on here. Um, basically, the small piece of tube, that's just temporary, and then I've put a nut on, what this allows you to do is adjust the tube up and down to get a final exact position before you cut your bars to length, the actual finished bar that's going to cover this. So that's the reason for those front and back, just allows adjustment up and down. And they need to be really just, just long enough for these support bars to slide into. So that's like a temporary, a temporary mount for the spine while I'm working on it. Okay guys, um, not much on that one, but a little bit of information uh, might make a, a couple of bits easier during building. Okay, I'm gonna sign out now and crack on. Cheers guys.